Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good. No complaints whatsoever. It's Monday morning. Let us get the week off to a rolling start. Now, I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video actor, Mangali Songema quits SAPC's Family Secrets. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, actor Mangali Songema has officially quit the SAPC's Family Secrets. Now, Mangali so played the lead character of Siza Mukwena on the show. Earlier this year, actually, the show introduced the character of Mangali. So they put up uh, a social media post that read, Mangali Songema is Siza Mukwena, billionaire banker and global power power player, African banker, juggernaut, husband and father, man, flesh and blood, flawed, hashtag Family Secrets uh, Season 2 is on the way. Watch the space for details. Now, since the introduction of his role on Season 2, the character has become quite popular. So I suppose it will sadden the fans of the show as news has come out that Manga Lisongema resigns from the SAPC show. Now the news was actually broken by Hupulo Mpela on social media. He posted the following news Manga Lisongema resigns from the SAPC show. Gema has resigned from the second season of Family Secrets where he played the lead. SAPC says a replacement actor will take over the role. Gema was accused and apologized for sexual misconduct on Litapo set. So yes, according to that, the reason why he is resigning is because of the misconduct that happened on the set of Litap, but not on Family Secrets. Now, apart from that, there's actually also a statement that reads Johannesburg, 11th June 2021, SAPC One and the South African Women in Television Arts, the SAWITA, announces the resignation of Mangali Songema from the drama series Family Secrets, in which he played the role Siza Mukwena. Mr. Ngema's immediate resignation will enable him to attend a legal matter pending in the courts in relation to the sexual harassment allegations leveled against him. The remaining episodes of Family Secrets Season 2 will have a new lead character in the name of Caesar Mukwena. So yeah, according to that, the character is actually not going away. They'll just replace the actual actor, so it will be played by a different person. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Ekta Mangali Songema's immediate resignation from SAPC's Family Secrets. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Manga Lisongema sues 12.5 million rands for defamation. Actor Mangali Songema, who played the role of Senzo on the SAPC2 Telenova, Litapo, has lodged the defamation claim in the Johannesburg High Court last week, accused Lorraine Murupa of tarnishing his name and prejudicing his income. In the previous topic, we saw that uh, statement that reads, Mr. Ngema's immediate resignation will enable him to attend a legal matter. So that legal matter is actually this particular defamation case that he has lodged. Now, this news was also broken on social media by Hupulom who wrote news actor Mangali Songema sues. Gema, who played Senzo on SAPC 2's Telenova Litapo, has reportedly lodged a 12.5 million rand defamation claim against actress Lorraine Murupa and Quizzical Pictures. This follows accusations laid against him of sexual misconduct. Now, do keep in mind that when this news broke last year, around June, July, I believe, Mangali Songema actually did respond to all of this. He posted a very lengthy video in which he details what happened from his perspective. Now, he does also say in that that he has reached out to Lorraine and apologized to her. Let me play that video for you guys real quick. Uh, greetings, family and friends. I'm being a um, business associates, colleagues in the industry. Uh, I'm sure you know by now that um, I stand accused of um, harassing someone at work. Um, my accuser alleges that I touched myself inappropriately while I was looking at her. I want to tell you that um, that is not the truth. She totally misread the situation and um, made the wrong assumption. And um, I have since reached out to her, you know, to apologize for inadvertently making her feel that way. I was silent on social media because I had hoped for a formal process to take place at work. And um, I mean, I view these allegations very, very seriously, you know. We're in a very critical time in our country when women are being abused and um, they're treated badly. Women are oppressed, you know, in all fears of our lives. 
So I do realize how sensitive this whole thing is, especially as a father who's raising girl children. I think it's important that I explain what, what, that I explain what happened, because um, just so that you understand uh, my side of the story. So on Monday the 20th, we were shooting a scene, and um, I had a problem with my costume. My pants were too tight, and I was struggling. Every time I, I had to get up, it felt like they were going to get torn. So while I was sitting there, um, I was sitting and inspecting. This is inside the, the, the room. I mean, there was cast and crew present. Um, I was busy inspecting my pants uh, to see if um, they were not getting torn. And when I looked up, I saw uh, her standing in a, at some distance looking at me. So she assumed that I was playing with myself, which was not the case, you know. So it's really unfortunate. I also hear that she mentioned that she had complained about me before. And this was on an occasion where we were shooting, I think it was our first intimate scene together on the show, and um, we were required to fall onto the bed um, uh, during this passionate scene. And, um, you know, she later complained that uh, when the director said cut, I stayed in character and I didn't remove my hand uh, from my hip, and that didn't make it feel good. Initially, I thought it was um, out of malice, but I, after we sat down with my agent and producers, I saw her side of the story and um, I apologized, you know, and I thought, you know, let me just work on myself to be fine with her so that, you know, not to um, jeopardize the, 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 the production. So, you know, it's, it's very confusing for me, you know, because this is someone who, you know, often likes to ask me to give them a back and shoulder massage. Uh, I'm a trained masseuse, so I do massage work. And she likes asking me, and I'm only saying this because um, even on the day of the, of the accusation, you know, she later asked me to give her a massage. Um, now, just think about it. How would it have looked, you know, how would it look if I had been the one who was asking her for massages, if I was the one who was, you know, constantly asking her to give me a massage? Uh, I'm just saying, you know. Um, and then my expectation was that, you know, the production will, you know, follow proper procedure and address the matter properly. But before that could be done, she had gone on social media and posted about her um, unhappiness. Then another colleague um, joined the fray and said um, he did the same thing to me too. And I was like, okay, I, I mean, I, I, was, I was really unsure until it emerged that um, apparently I promised her furniture in exchange for uh, favors. And, um, you know, the truth is that she was struggling because she, she, she used to stay f very far from work and she, she, she kept on saying, oh, you know, um, the, the striving, the striving, the striving. And then out of the goodness, goodness of my heart, I offered her a, a finished cottage at my house, you know. But she has, she has then gone and turned the whole story around, you know, to make it look like I was making advances um, on her. And then there was the fake media um, post, someone posing as me, um, you know, saying things that I never said. That confused me even further because it just made me think, okay, what is going on here, you know? Why would anyone go out of their way to post something like that that makes me look like I'm admitting uh, guilt? Look, my, my, my contract has been uh, terminated. Um, a lot of you know that. And I just feel that that has compromised me even further because it has created the impression in the public eye that proper processes were followed and I was found guilty. But, you know, that is not the case. I want to reassure you that I view um, the abuse of women uh, in a very serious light and I'm, I'm willing to subject myself to any scrutiny or any process to get to the bottom of it. Um, this matter has now been handed over to my legal team who are giving me advice on how to proceed from here. Um, I want to thank everyone that has reached out to me um, in support, men and women who have you know, come forward and said, look, um, we don't know you like that. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not trying to defend myself, you know, I'm not perfect, um, I know that, but um, that's just my side of the story. I've never intended to abuse anyone. For more information, in, you know, if I'm not available, please um, don't hesitate to contact Mr. Manda Masego, who's my spokesperson from now, 
um, on 074-754-4477. Thank you so, so much. And I want to apologize to all the women out there whose wounds have been reopened because of uh, hearing about uh, these allegations. I really apologize from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for listening. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, having heard Mangali Songema's side of the story, do you think that he does have a claim? And if so, do you think he's going to get his 12.5 million rands? I will say this, it does seem that celebrity suing is going to be a trend. You got to start practicing your alleged lease. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.